can you do to protect your new car's paintwork? So a lot of people want to protect their nice new car's paintwork from the ravages of use. Paintwork on cars is subject to a lot of abuse from you know, ultraviolet, bird poop, tree sap, scratches and so on. So the first thing you can do, absolutely nothing. Just put up with it. Let the paintwork go downhill. Um, and I'm sure you've seen a lot of the old cars where all that um, pattern stuff is going a bit yucky. But you can help protect your paintwork. If you've spent a lot of money on your car, you really should look at putting something on to protect it. Um, now you can continue to wash and polish and so on, but there are a few things that you should do, or at least in my opinion, do beforehand. So one of the common things that people do is ceramic coat the paintwork. Ceramic coating is a, a liquid polymer that chemically bonds onto the paintwork and can help protect it. It will help protect against things like ultraviolet, like bird poop and so on. And it, because it's chemically bonded onto the paint, it doesn't wash off. The one thing it doesn't do is protect it from stone chips, scratches and so on. Now, because it's bonding with the paintwork, it lasts a long time. It's approximately two to four years. It just depends. And it's also reasonably inexpensive. It can cost anywhere from a few hundred to a few thousand dollars to apply. Just depends upon the quality. There are some ceramic coats that have got a lifetime guarantee on them, but they're up there with the expensive end of the market. So in order to apply a ceramic coat, the car must be washed thoroughly to get all the dirt off. And then the majority of these people that apply it do what's called clay barring. So that's where they actually rub the surface of the paintwork with this little bar and it removes all the chemicals and everything that's on the paint to leave just bare paint so that then when it's got bare paint the ceramic coat can actually bond with it. So the ceramic coating is then applied in a very thin layer panel by panel. Once applied you have to leave it out in the sun to cure and that can take a few hours depends upon uh, the make of ceramic coating that you're applying. It's usually best to get this done by a professional who knows what they're doing. It is something that you can try yourself, but you need to have a bit of patience doing it because it basically it's a day long procedure. Then there's wrapping your car. Now there's a couple of different wraps that you can get, vinyl and PPF or paint protection film and they're slightly different. Some people do mistake these two for the same thing. Vinyl is only a few millimeters thick, three, four millimeters, and is basically used to change the appearance of the car. You can get vinyl wrap in hundreds of different colors. And here's one of a Mercedes that's been done. Vinyl wraps are basically PVC or polyvinyl chloride. As I said, they're three to four mil thick and they come with an adhesive backing. So you peel the backing off, stick it down. You've got to get it fairly well placed. You can peel it back and put it on a few times and it's sort of squeegeed out flat. PPF, on the other hand, is made from uh, polyurethane and it consists of many layers and is up to 10 millimeters thick. So it weighs a lot more than vinyl. The advantages of vinyl um, are that it's cheaper than the PPF, comes in hundreds of colors as I've said, and it's basically used to alter the appearance of your car. So you don't need to do a complete repaint job with a vinyl wrap. It does offer some protection from the elements but nowhere near as good as PPF does. 
So a vinyl wrap costs well between three to five thousand dollars, depends upon the quality of the wrap and the people putting it on. And unfortunately, it doesn't last as long as PPF. The usual sort of warranty is about five years. PPF's warranty is 10 years or thereabouts. So that's why PPF costs more to install. Five, seven thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. It depends upon the quality of the PPF, the people putting it on, how big's your car. So as I've said, vinyl wraps can alter the appearance of your car. PPF wraps usually don't. There are a few, and I'm getting one on my car, that has got um, a slight prismatic effect, so it can alter the colour slightly. And some PPFs have got a matte appearance, but they don't tend to come in a multitude of different colours. But you can put vinyl on, alter the colour, put a PPF on top of the vinyl. The main advantage of PPF is the fact that it is multi-layered and it's what's termed self-healing. Um, some of those layers, um, they get a stone chip on, it protects the paint underneath, but then once you leave it out in the sun, it will reheal itself and get rid of that mark. The only other unfortunate thing with PPF is because it's see-through, the paintwork underneath needs to be spotless. Vinyl is opaque, so it doesn't matter that your paintwork isn't the best underneath. So that's why it's a good idea, if you're gonna put PPF on, to get your car um, PPF'd when it's brand new. Otherwise, you've gotta do a lot of prep work on the paint. Once you've done this investment on PPF or vinyl or ceramic coating, you want to protect that additional investment. And they're basically the same. You just clean with a soft cloth or sponge and a mild detergent. Whoever is applying the wrap should give you some instructions on how to wash it, but you certainly don't want to use abrasives. And you also probably don't want to put too much wax on. Wax has got petroleum distillates in it and that can damage the wrap on your car. It's also not a good idea to take your wrapped vehicle through a car wash unless it's a brushless one, but your person, the company that's put your wrap on should advise you on that. Um, if it's got brushes and so on, it can pick under the uh, edges of the wrap and then it will gradually come off. So I've had my cars wrapped, I hand wash. That's the easiest thing. And of course, bird poop, tree sap, etc. You should clean those off as soon as you possibly can because they do have chemicals in which even though they'll damage the paintwork underneath without the wrap they will eventually damage the wrapping and it will discolor it slightly so clean all that crap off and cleaning that bird poop off you just use a sponge or a soft cloth microfiber cloth with some water and just wipe it off don't go in big circles just side to side is usually enough now having said wash your car don't for the first week or so. Once you've had the PPF put on, it takes a while to um, cure and bond with the paintwork because unlike the vinyl, which has got an adhesive backing, the PPF doesn't. So over a period of time, and it's about a week or so, you shouldn't be washing your PPF film. And when you do wash, Avoid high pressure um, washes. Uh, you can use them, but don't use them near the edges of where the, the PPF has been applied because it could get underneath and start to lift it and then you have to have the whole panel redone. So as I said earlier, my Model Y is currently having some PPF put on it and uh, it's gonna look a little bit more sparkly than it was. So I'll show you that when I get it back 
next week. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget, click that like and subscribe button down here and I'll see you all very soon.